Hey, everybody. I'm expanding our traffic system just a little bit to help with uh, just some general traffic flow issues that are arising. We're most likely going to make one-way streets through here. And just in preparation for being able to do that, I wanted to provide an avenue for us to give longer lights in this direction while also allowing people to come from this direction to get home. So, because they're going to have to come from this direction eventually. So, I will end up basically having this be a one-way so that people can flow. Presumably. I don't know if we're going to actually do that. But I just want to give myself an option. So, I'm adding a dedicated right turn lane here so that people who are turning right, right, they can turn, our, turn right on red, right? That's what I want them to be able to do. Um, I want to do the same thing here because I think that's going to be a very important thing too. Some people turn right. A lot of people turn left. That's fine. But I want to give the option to do that too. But this parking lot is a little bit too close and it just doesn't let me do that. So I may not be able to do that. Uh, if I do make this a one-way street, then it will be totally possible because this side can then be turned uh, essentially into one of these. Uh, hang on, let's go F4. I can basically turn this into a, a one-way. I'm pretty sure I was able to do that before. So let me double check that. I know I was able to do that before. Uh, it might be just because there's cars there. Yeah, from here and then out like that. But I, I think you can just uh, just make the whole row itself. This whole lane will become one of those one one lane roads instead. And that just lets me essentially govern that by having them turn that way. So it's okay. We'll, we'll look at it later if we need to. But um, yeah, I'm basically turning in uh, dedicated one ways uh, right turn lanes here. Dedicated right turn lane on this side as well just to give us a chance there. Uh, eventually, we're going to have a neighborhood over here. So I might design that today. Uh, but I wanted to take care of a few miscellaneous things that are going to pop up eventually if they're not uh, already a thing. I really want to get electrical components started as far as, like, you know, creating them. There's really no reason why we have 7% unemployment. Everybody should have a job. So let's go ahead and maybe fill in some gaps here and see why that isn't happening. So right now, we have a bunch of people working electronics. We don't need this, this many. And also, they're not getting electrical components. They're not getting those because electrical components isn't being made. So I need to get this building operational. Uh, it says it's without drinking water. So this isn't built yet, probably because there's no walking path to get to it. There you go you have a walking path to get there now and i'm gonna let charlie Ben labor uh, help you out with that uh i think probably this is useless there's really no reason to have it and so i'm gonna just kind of tell them not to build it because like why there's no point there's no point to this at all uh so we'll leave that out uh and then this building is pretty much done except it doesn't have plastics being delivered well, I guess it does have plastics delivered. It doesn't have chemicals being delivered. It says it's without chemicals. So I have chemicals delivered here. So it must be a forklift problem. There we go. So tell them to tell them to get the chemicals. And they'll head over there and do it. They'll grab the chemicals and bring them back over here. So now I need to make sure that people can get here to work. Now, in order to get here to work, the trains have to drop people off here. So we're going to need additional passenger trains that can accommodate people being moved into that area too. So a couple of things I think I can probably do here also to make this a little bit more flexible in the future. I'd like to get people to be able to get dropped off here and work here. We already have the possibility of getting these guys there, but you know, we'd like them to come in from multiple sides if possible. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab my walking path. I'm going to come off of this side about to, let's say, there is good. Uh, so they'll be able to come out and then turn that way. That's the only way to do that. Yeah, I have to come from that side. That's fine. Uh, and then we're going to have this go about here. We need to get around that that water. So I'm going to think I'm thinking right about here is probably fine. I'll put a pedestrian underpass right here. And then we're going to put another one over here, right there. Now, this allows people to get out uh, of the tunnel and then go along the road to here or here. Because that's going to happen, I think I want to probably... I don't think I need to pave it, per se, but having gravel, at least, would be a good thing here. Especially for the trash pick, pickups and stuff. So, we're going to get 
gravel roads through here as well. And we'll just make sure that we get uh, a couple of our road crews and stuff on that. Maybe helicopters can help out. Nah, it's kind of a big project. Or it's kind of a small project, sorry, for helicopters. So uh, never mind on that. We don't have... Yeah, De Mount Char has a demolitions office. So they should be able to work that. They should be able to anyway right there. Okay. So make sure that's happening. And then on this side, we have... Uh, we, ha we have this that's not built yet, of course, because this road needs to be done, too. So, um, Mount Char's been told to do that. I'm going to assign that to some other offices as well. Also, cancel construction like that as well. We don't want this, we don't want this office to be on it. Uh, so, get this tunnel built and get it out to here. And then we have this walking path, which allows them to go to these two. But there's still not a path made to get to this. And... We're also going to need people to be able to work here eventually too, right? This is our where we're making our vehicles, right? So I'm thinking what we should do is probably put an, a tunnel underpass over here as well. I just like tunnels. That's just it. Is it? Yeah. Could I do? Could I do a bridge here? Uh, eh, probably not. I'm gonna say probably not. Tunnels are just better, All right? Just the way it is. Deal with it. Uh, we're gonna have you come down here. That would gives access to build that walking path as well. Uh, and then we're going to have, uh, I probably should do this a little bit differently because I don't want to get in the way of anything in the future. We definitely need this dirt path connected at least because that gives us the ability to maintain it, right? Maintain, maintaining it is important. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to make a, an adjustment here, an important adjustment here in a second. Uh, and then I think, uh, we need to get these all connected to this underpass connection here. So... Uh, this side's going to go this way, and we're going to have to go down a little bit to do that. So let's say one, two, three down from there. We can come all the way over and just hook it up like that. I'm fine with that. All right, so tunnel to that point. There we go. And then this one here is real simple. It just goes to there. All right, that gives us everything we need. And eventually, when they're all built, uh, they will all have connection to the road network, so they will be able to get maintained uh, as well. This office should be doing reconstruction projects as well. Yeah. Okay. So that gives us access to walk everywhere uh, that we need to over on this side. And it should provide us with a way to walk. Uh, why? Why can't you reach? You should be able to. Oh, did I, did I do this already? I didn't do this yet. Okay, that's why. Uh, real quick. Let's go like this. Always good to double check your work just by highlighting what's going on. Here we go. Like that. All right. So go around that water like that. All right. And now double check. Can you walk there? You can. You can walk to both of those places. Good. That's going to take care of getting everybody in here. We obviously need trains and stuff to be able to move people around. And there are people waiting. Uh, there usually are. Unless a train just picked them up, which that is the case. 98 more workers going out there. We're obviously going to have a lot more people in here, so this is going to be very busy. And then uh, also over here, we have lots more people that can be brought, right? So we need more trains. We need a lot more, like, more passenger trains and stuff. So uh, I think this M62 locomotive. Eh, no, I'm, I'm good. We, we can go get an actual passenger train and stuff. Let's find used vehicles really quick. And I want to see if there are any motor wagons there it is so this is 11 years old it's i have the money right we should just buy new stuff right i feel i feel like we should just buy new stuff what's my prison doing my prison's doing okay uh, my crime rate's pretty low isn't it isn't our crime rate low it says 4100 people are affected by crime why is my happiness 66 percent arrival to prison then like What's going on here? Why is my happiness so low right now? We have electronics, don't we? We are buying electronics, aren't we? Yeah, we have a lot of them. We should be getting them into stores and stuff. They should be able to buy them pretty much everywhere. I think. Uh, there's no meat here. That's interesting. Are we out of meat? No. Are you not connected? I feel like I need a dedicated meat truck to move around places, you know? Just to, like, make sure this place has it. Because these, these guys don't have food or meat. 
in this store right now. What's what's going on, distribution office? What you doing? There's the meat truck. It's bringing 0.63 tons of meat. I feel like dedicated meat truck is going to be better, right? It's got to be than, than this is. Uh, but we probably should get the other office involved in that. Because, like, look at all the vehicles are gone here. And we still have plenty of vehicles just hanging out in here and not doing anything. So if, can I connect you? You are connected to that store, though. So you should be doing... I mean, both of you are connected to that store. I might need another distribution office, to be honest. Not out of the question. We'll look at it later. What I want to do over here is I want to delete this. So I've added this as a load point instead of an unload point for the route that's going around. So the trucks are all going around, dropping them off at all, all of them, right? In one big loop. But instead of unloading here, they load here. And that's emptying the place out to the point where basically all there is now is uh, just a little bit of crops. No big deal. So we're going to go ahead and have this demoed right there. This one's gone. We're going to get rid of it. I don't think I need this many. Might regret that, but there's something else I can put here that is significantly more valuable to me. And that is going to be plastics. We're going to have a plastics factory here instead. A plastics factory footprint. We're still going to go on the same factory connection here. So I'm going to leave all of this intact, but we're going to be able to connect this walking path to the road now because the footpath for this, where is, uh, where is, actually, you know what? I also need to connect this side too, don't I? All right, we're going to have to keep in mind, like, both of these sides, the here and here, both need connected to the road network. But the footprint for plastics is lower. Where the heck is it? Right here. So it's a significantly smaller building. We should be able to get walking paths around that. And if I could just get one of these in here instead, it requires oil and a lot of it, basically. It requires a lot of oil. Uh, and it also requires... Uh, chemicals so oil and chemicals make plastics so this piping connection i'm actually going to use it we're going to pipe oil into that one out of one of these tanks we're going to say probably this tank here so mm, we are actually using a pretty good amount of this we're almost full there uh, i was up until this point sending fuel into the train i just stopped doing that the fuel train is now over here and it's just going to chill here until it needs to go back. So that, this is going to let us... It, it's basically extra storage here because this thing is full. So all of our fuel is right here and it's completely full. Me likey. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, I had some comments about the pumping harbor too. I'm well aware of like what the purposes of these things are. Okay. So the connection points for the oil and everything. I don't know where, where the... I don't know where the confusion was on... Maybe it's the way I said it or... The way it was interpreted, I don't know. I'm fully aware that the fuel is not going to be sold out of this port, okay? The fuel supply in here is purely for refueling ships. I know that. This same thing here. Refueling ships. I know that. This pumping harbor, this is where we're selling the fuel, okay? I, I know that. That's, that's how this works, okay? The pumping harbor. If you go to the ships and you go to pumping harbor... Um, it doesn't actually tell you what the purpose of it is, but that's, that's the purpose of it. Okay. So you have the Harbor for various different things and the cargo and all that stuff. But if you want to sell fuel, you go to a pumping Harbor and that, that will allow you to pump it into the tanks of like into a tanker ship, as opposed to into the, uh, tanks of the boats that are going to be using that fuel. Right. So it's a different, different purpose essentially. Hopefully that makes sense. That's why this is located really close to everything. Uh, and this one is really far away. We'll be sending basically extra fuel over here to keep the ships fueled while they're shipping things. Uh, and then any access from this assortment can also get pumped into here. So totally, se totally separate train stops, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to be building ships over here. And these ships will then go across the water to do whatever they got to do. Uh, refuel themselves, etc. Uh, okay, what else did I want to? What else did I want to cover? Uh, other than this right here getting demolished, which should be automatically happening. Looks like we have we have vehicles on site right now handling that. Very good. I may need to move, like the stand for hazardous waste might need to go, 
you know some of these extra garbages might need to go but if i can get this place to work and just have this work for it that'd be good i would also like to find a way to position this plastics factory so that this can help and i don't think that's going to be possible just because the pump jack is here but with this building getting removed i could probably put in another big one anyway because the plastics is going to have a lot of uh it's gonna it's gonna make a lot of uh waste as well yeah uh there are sometimes cars uh, personal cars that will park in these parking lots right we do have some personal cars and i can continue to buy them too this lot is not yet full but there are some cars that are headed to this lot right now so it's, it is actually full um we can get you know in these parking lots and stuff here if we go up like this you can see those houses right there could potentially claim cars now right so if i wanted to i could say hey how about we grab you know a few of extra vehicles and through here let's just grab like a couple of different ones there 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 you know We can provide some cars into these lots and then they these guys here can walk to their car over here and, and go it's interesting that this one can't reach it it must just be the matter of like where the walking paths are i think that's what it is i think the walking path here needs to go probably from this point needs to be paved and then go to this road and then from there it could probably come down i bet that's a thing we should probably try to do that let me get you guys are all going this way anyway for the most part i'm gonna go ahead and pave that and then have this send all the way this way and then cross the road there yeah and then uh i don't think there's a point in going all the way like this yeah i don't think there's a point in that we could we could do this though yeah i mean this is okay but like what's the what's the the path there i guess people can walk from the side maybe they'll be able to reach it too if i connect it on this side maybe if i went like this maybe possibly they might be able to reach and then also the parking lots they'd be able to yeah you know i'll do, I'll do that it's fine uh, and then i'll just have this go all the way up the side like this and then you can connect like so like that is fine and then i can just delete this part that's fine with me it looks interesting interesting enough for me to, to go ahead and do it and then we'll just highlight all of this and have the road crews work on those things too probably will need a little bit of labor in here too so i'll just make sure that some labor is brought here too all right so the television station is also getting built at the moment. I think maybe that's an okay thing. I, um, again, I have a 4% unemployment rate. I, I, I need the, the, the trains. All right, that's what we were focused on. I, I don't know why I'm getting distracted on that because that's just who I am. Uh, train sets. All there is available now is our electric ones. So that's no good. Uh, if I want to buy, I guess if I want to buy the motor wagons, I have to go directly to the border. I'm not avail I'm not able to buy them inside the the depot. Uh so yeah, this one's pretty it's too old. I think I'm going to just pass on that one and we'll go to brand new motor wagons. Motor wagons, motor wagons, motor where did they go? It's I thought they were in alphabetical order. Clearly I was mistaken. Do they not sell them anymore? Oh dear. Motor wagon as a category is completely gone. Uh, wow. And train sets are only electric now in 1990. Ooh, this is an issue, isn't it? So I might, I'm going to have to use this and then have basically the cargo wagons pulled behind it. I guess that's what's going to have to happen here. This is the correct depot, is it not? Yeah. Okay. So this this train is going to leave the station now and go get passenger. Uh, and this this is a problem actually. I uh, I need motor wagons that are. Maybe I will buy that used one. I mean, it's very damaged, but it's at least something. I think I'm going to buy it. It's it's old, but it's the only way I can get a motor wagon right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it and then. Um, from there we need to go to passenger wagons and we will take let's go with this one 
One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna have lots of passenger trains, so I'm gonna buy a bunch of them. All right, so that train will bring them back to here, and then I'll probably employ both of the trains to do passengers to pick them up at this station, which has 90 workers waiting here. And then this one here is 180. So again, still need more passenger trains. You can see like as many trains as I have and all these tracks, it's really not that busy. Like I could sit here and look at this and just stay here with my camera and probably only see like two or three trains in a minute on the screen. It's, it's really not that busy. So yeah, just putting it out there. Uh, I'm starting to add parking lots back here. We are, we're, we're paving this road. It's nearly completed. And then once this road is done, I'm also going to pave this little road here too. I just want to make sure that both of them are available. So, well, I want to do one segment of road at a time, basically. So we have a mechanism here. This roller is going to be finishing up on this road any second now. It's like 88 days worth. It's got to go this way and then all the way back. Uh, and then once that completes, then we'll have this road paved. So I think I could probably shut it down now because it'll, they can get started on it now. It's fine. Now we were supposed to be able, uh, unless the, maybe the patch isn't out yet, but they, there's a patch either here and I just don't know it or, uh, coming soon that is going to allow me to combine construction projects on roads. Um, but it doesn't work through actual road intersections. It only works through the walking path intersections. If I understand correctly, so you can put walking paths, you know, through your roads and have it all be one job. So like instances like this right here where I would want to pave this. Like, let's say I wanted to pave this road through here. I would have to, usually I'd have to create one, two, three, four, five, six separate jobs to make that happen. But because those are only separated by the walking paths, it's not really that big of a deal. And so um, it's not like a full road connection. So they would allow me at that point to make that whole thing one, uh, one job, which would speed up the process enormously. Um, I'm gonna, I don't, I don't think that's the case with the roads though, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that as a project. That's gonna lock this whole road down, or I guess lock down. It's gonna, uh, make it to where there's nobody can pass through this road, but they have plenty of alternative routes, so it's no big deal. And then let's take a quick look over at my demo project here. The chemical plan is going down. Inc I love how they've done the models in this game. Can we just, can we just admire how they've done this? Like the fact that they have each individual section of this building is somewhat modular in its design so that as they tear it down the building is changing as they do it with like scrap and stuff placed all over the place and then in incrementally going down and down more and more as trucks pick it up i just think that's amazing th that they've done that in this game and it's it's really cool not a lot of not a lot of games do that so many builder games you'll have like this sort of I don't know. It's like a private room, right? A big old construction tent kind of thing that goes over top of the building. And then when the progress bar hits 100%, that goes away. Think, uh, yeah, think Cartel Tycoon is, is one example. Obviously, this is a completely different game than that. But that's the, the, the level of detail I'm referring to as a comparison. It's like there's a construction site here. When it's done, the construction site animates away, and there's your building. But with here, like, they're just tearing it down you got vehicles pulling in segments of the building are getting removed scrap is being entered in um vehicles are moving around i mean i just i just love how they do that it's, just, it's so well done this is so well done it, i've had somebody i had somebody make a comment that said that um i want to try to get it right i don't remember uh communist simulator was a hard pill to swallow. I guess they just like, I don't know, they're seeing this as like a communist simulator as opposed to an economics and logistics game. Uh, I think you're you're definitely not seeing the big picture if that's where you're going with this. So try to figure out why these guys are paused. And it looks to me like it's just these guys trying to leave. So this is why we need one way streets through here. But now that I've added this, this right turn, it might make this just a little bit too crowded. What is the deal here though? So it's, it's something like this. I want to do this. I, I thought I did this with every intersection already, but apparently I missed the one at the very front. Because I, I should have all of these done this way already, you see? With all the yields and everything done. Yes, you have to go through these one at a time and do that, but I, you know, it's worth it to make this, to make this work. I didn't do this one though. So we'll do, do that one and this one and this one. Did I miss this one? I did. There we go. Yeah, so like you, you just do the little signals there. So now that I have a yield, these guys should wait 
until the traffic clears. That's what should have been happening the whole time. And that should flow, but yeah. So there's definitely obviously heavy traffic here. And what I needed to do is to just to make this light a little bit longer. So I think the interval on this side, we're going to make it 25. And then this one here, we're going to change it to 12 to really start. Uh, good save to, to really start allowing this to clear out. So now this light is really long basically. And, uh, should allow these guys to clear out of here. Uh, much faster but i want to take a look really quick and because remember public transit it's about the time that they're in the vehicle so much right um and like with with these guys with their personal cars and stuff like they'll sit in the car and it's the same amount of time so he's been sitting in his car for two and a half hours already <laughs> right near his house right <laughs> obviously a little less realistic than we'd like but um he'll still go to work because if he can get out of that intersection and, and go home or, or go where he needs to go. He's only going 2,500 meters. So as long as he's not getting held up like that over and over and over again, it's fine, all right? He just needs to get there. Obviously, it's always better to have traffic flow a little bit more fluidly, but this is what happens with personal cars. You just have to work with it. What is this? What is this grotesqueness that I see here? What is this nonsense that is before me? You gotta be kidding me, game. So you're really that didn't work. Oh man, this didn't work. I'm going to, I'm going to take that away too. I can't believe that that connected that way. And they probably weren't even using it because of that too. That sucks. Ah, uh, what a drag. And there's no demolitions. I don't have a demolition office in here. I need to get one. Let's go construction demo offices. You know what? We'll, we'll make a legit one. Who knows? Maybe it'll work out for us. I mean, there's a big area here. we got to cover a lot of ground and whatever. We'll put a demo office over here somewhere. About right here. Is there... Eh, off, the, off the main road is not something I want to do. Is this the... Yeah, this stuff is in the way, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, fine. Whatever. We'll do the temporary ones. They're small enough. I like them. So we'll go about like this. We'll make it a dirt road. Now I can get it to work really quickly. So that's good. And then in this... We want to buy, uh, do we need workers on that? Probably should have a bus, right? A small bus, a really, really small bus. Like, like a micro bus, I think is, is fine. One micro bus will be here. And then from there, we'll make sure that we get at least one excavator and whatever we'll spend. I'm all right with spending here. One excavator. Uh, probably two would be better, but whatever. And then we're going to want open hull. Uh, we're going to want waste trucks. Sorry, waste trucks. And I think uh, we'll do two of the big ones. Yeah. So that's what we'll have on that. And then you just auto search in a thousand. I'll go 2000 on that. Just search for projects to tear down. And that office will then get this road added to it. And then we'll tear that down and try to figure out how the hell to connect that. Because I did not know it was going to connect that way. And that's, that's a real bummer. All right. Uh, the City Hall and Accounting Office should be getting its boards delivered now. There are boards delivered. So that means the helicopters do have access to boards. All the way over here. Let's take a look. Yes, yeah, so this was boards. Now there's almost seven tons of boards delivered here now. The trucks are coming from all the way over here to deliver them here. So it takes a while to, to have that work. It's obviously not very optimal, but it's what we have. And it works. I mean, it, we've, we've as long as we have boards... Are you, are you picking up boards? You are picking up boards. See? So, you can see it works right here. He's loading them. And then they're going to go and, you know, send them wherever they need to go. So, we have, a, we have a system for the helicopters to now have every resource, including people. There's a whole lot of fun. This road's now paved. I'm going to go ahead and just get this one added to the, the list as well. That little road right there. And we're going to make sure that Zernowski's offices are on the case there too uh and this is actually probably small enough to where we're gonna need labor yeah i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring the labor in from from cernikova I'm, I'm all right with that just i don't need to have extra buses here these roads are coming down through this way my road vehicles depot is uh is there and with a vehicle repair station there probably should get that done vehicle repair is going to be pretty important as we go and you can see right here, we have now one worker at this vehicle repair station. So people are parking here and they're going to start working here. So what I need now are repair vehicles. So let's go. Yep. 
to repair vehicles. And we'll say... Um, these ones here should be fine. We'll add those two vehicles there. And we're going to have a repair cancel when long idle happens so that these vehicles will go ahead and get to work if they're... I don't want them to just sit here doing nothing. We're going to need fuel delivered here uh, as well, I think is probably a good idea. So if I can go to my distribution office... Hello. And uh, make sure that fuel is delivered here. That'd be good. Also, pretty much everything else needs to be delivered here too, right? So in addition to fuel, we also need plastics and mechanical components and all these things uh, delivered as well. Now, for that to happen, we probably need to hook up. Uh, he should have, they should have most of these hookups already done though. So let's take a look at the load. You're already loading from this warehouse anything is what it says load anything and this warehouse should have electronics we could get electrical components brought here as well although i think it's probably better to pull that from this supply since it's already being delivered here anyway or at least it should be and it's gonna be able to hold more of them so we're gonna want that too i don't know why that's I, I, what i think it is is the reason why we're having such a hard time with supply like that is because we don't have enough trains to, to run i think eight trains for the number of tasks that we're trying to do, I think this office is just spread too thin right now. It can create the trains, but it really only can create them when one comes back, and they almost always are created immediately upon return. So I think it's just one of those one of those deals, because you're, like, moving alcohol, and you're actually selling alcohol. Maybe. Because we have so much money. Let's, let's limit how much stuff we sell to the border. That will limit our trips... To, to like bringing things out right so if i uh not this one i need i need you so if i tell you for the border let's have you not sell clothes or food or alcohol or mechanical components let's actually not sell mechanical that's probably the big thing there is we're selling mechanical components and um let's hold off on that so our exclusive export at the moment is just going to be explosives this should hopefully keep everybody here um, and then if we can get these created domestically then we won't need to pick them up from the border either there really isn't a huge reason why this isn't created domestically here other than my passenger train limitations so i'm gonna go ahead and take that away we're gonna leave this on and we're gonna definitely leave that on all right so if i come over to my office now i didn't get the metro train We'll go get the metro train the the people mover thing oh you know what you're probably being told to get only new stuff are you gonna get only only the news yeah get the used stuff too okay there you go feel free to bring the used stuff along as well okay citizen loyalty seems low that's over in zernoski we're I, I do need to go through each one of these houses and make sure that everybody's getting the things they need there are certain times where people aren't getting them usually it has to do with spirituality and stuff that will get worked out over time uh, every once in a while people can't get food or meat i need to check the stores and everything so closed electronics getting delivered here just fine got people working there or they drive here and then walk into shop there right we have this store and there's no sellers we need people to work here too curious it's because of the walking path doesn't go through there yeah i need the walking path to go in here so if, yeah yeah that's the problem so i'll just have a simple dirt path there for now and that should get them to where they can walk there oh yeah every almost everybody can walk there now so that store should get turned on people should be able to shop there now too so spreading out where people shop leads to less cars being jammed into a single location which should help our traffic flow even better um we do have this little road that's going to eventually come this way too and we'll have more stuff in here uh, as we go it kind of fills through here giving people a reason to drive this way instead of being uh, clustered on the single road and then i don't know whether that demolition office is going to get here or not it should all right what's going on here the vehicles are not here yet I am at one time speed. I'm normally faster than that. But no, the vehicles are definitely here. So they're auto searching. Oh, I get it. I get it. They, they don't have a place to bring this stuff. That's why. Um.
well shit. <laughs> That's um, uh, not what I wanted to do. Uh, I think you can see how that might have that might be a problem. <laughs> uh, I clicked the button to like select this as a source for workers, but the the demolition tool was already active. And normally I could just cancel it, but since that was a temporary stop anyway, it deletes immediately. Uh, okay. Sure. Sure. Uh, well, I, you know, we're going to have to, oh, we're going to have to demo all this now too. <laughs> and then where my bus is going to pick people up from now, I'm going to have to replace a temporary one and then redirect those buses to somewhere else. How about right here? Can't do that because the road doesn't connect anymore. All right. How about over here? Then they won't be able to walk there. Yeah, darn it. <laughs> Why did that have to happen here? We'll do it right here, right here, right? You'll just park right here as inconvenient as it is. You'll go there and then all those buses that have nowhere to go now. Let's find those buses. There should be a bus right here. Okay. So one of this right here, right? We're going to make sure that you go there now. Okay. And, uh, and then the other bus is here and your stop is there. Okay. I think that's all. There's only two buses, so I, I think that's it. But yeah, and then you guys uh, are no longer like dedicated because you can't be. So you're going to go here now. <laughs> all right. That's not how I wanted that to be, but it is how it is. And then I'll have you cross the tracks here just to give an alternative route to get in there. All right. Well, that backfired. So now we need to delete this stuff, too, and put in a more permanent stop instead of that temporary one. I suppose people can probably get behind that idea anyway. So get rid of this. Uh, we'll pull this back a little bit. Doesn't need to go back all the way. Just a little bit there. And uh, now all these things need to get added to the demo office. So the demo office, one more time. Where is it? One more time. The demo office is going to take its mixed waste. I'm going to click this button now instead of this one. Uh, mixed waste goes here. Hazardous waste. We're just going to send the stuff to the border. We're just going to send all your hazardous stuff to the border. And you know what? You should take this road anyway. Yeah, take take all this to the border. I'm, I'm okay with it. It's fine. It makes things easier for now. And then we'll get proper setup for it later. And then workers will end up being here. All right. Now this office assign to construction. Road connection doesn't exist. Oh my God. Because it's a one way here. Wow. It's just awful this is awful all right right there's a spot here where it'll hopefully work come on oh my god i have to delete the entire thing because i can't make well hang on can i make the one way go the opposite direction right i can do that i can say hey go this way instead one way yeah like that now can you get there Yes. Okay. <laughs> so weird. There's that. This one's already started. Very good. All right. Crisis averted. <laughs> uh, what else can, can we do here? So yeah, you need all these things delivered. Electronics is there, but we're not getting fabric delivered either. We could probably get fabric delivered here just to help with that. Or I could need another. Honestly, I think I need another stop, right? I need like a, a repair center train stop at some point here. Um, we could have it be an extension of this. It's not very busy. You know, trains aren't that busy. You get an extension of this and bring it into here, but I was kind of hoping to have this train track round around and go this way. So not cutting into here at all. So w we could probably put it in here, I suppose, but then the tracks have to cross this highway and I'm, I'm still trying to avoid that happening. So my other alternative is just to have fabric delivered to this spot. We'll have 21 tons of it delivered here, I guess. We don't need clothing here. We don't need... Ex I'm going to have no explosives here. I'm not going to use explosives. So 22 tons of fabric can be delivered here too. And then on this side here, make sure we get the chemicals. Yeah. Chemicals, food, alcohol, clothes. Uh, yeah. Plastics. No. Plastics are... You know what? I'm going to set up a plastics factory anyway, so... We could look to plan that. Plastics is going to go over here. Um, like one of our main, our, one of our main places for plastics production to be will be over here. We do have that factory over there, of course, just to get us started with an existing area where our chemicals are. 
and that's a good thing too but um a lot of chemical a lot of the plastics and stuff can be made here rather than taking all of these oil pump jacks that are here and here and bringing them all the way across the map into this fuel area rather than doing that because i i believe with this building full we already have uh, a sufficient amount of workforce to keep our republic fueled at least for now until we get another fuel uh until we get another fuel fa uh fuel refinery wow um but i can have a lot of the oil that's right here and right here directed into this area and uh and create some plastics over here too to get that hooked up the rail is located here so if we had the rail come through here and hook up to storages for plastic we could have it created here and then that rail could uh i don't think it connects this way right because this is the this is the crop train yeah so we're not going to connect to that one uh but we could have it come across and connect to this one if it's available uh after we get the uranium sort of going this this connection right here that we can uh hook that up to so this train track can continue this way go under and or over this track and then hook up into here for storage and then distributed this way right and then plastics can be created here probably two or three of them uh plastics is very expensive with oil it takes up to 27 tons per day of oil uh and to put that into perspective that is nearly four 100 pump jacks worth of oil per plastic factory per day so i need eight pump jacks at 100 to satisfy two plastics factories and um well none of my pump jacks are gonna be 100 so uh, probably all of the oil here all the oil here I probably could get the oil over here going pump that in and get that over here too it's an idea for the future um I wasn't really into it doing it right now and because I have a good economy I can also uh pick up plastics and have that delivered as well I can pick it up at the border for example and just have it delivered into my republic and buy plastic which is what I've been doing mostly uh from before because we get plastics into here uh, so do you have your chemicals now you do now you don't have drinking water that's gonna be complete soon I hope we have we have people doing this uh how about how about how about this huh can we get the labor from Ch Charlevin's brought in here please I don't even know if they can reach it to be honest and then uh these vehicles are doing nothing because they don't partake in de demolition waste is sorted now though we don't have any issues with that and let me just double check this train okay, you got 119 people and you're like only halfway into your trip so that's good so we have plenty of people going through there do I have my passenger trains yet all right so I have uh these are just the wagons so you you still didn't do the metro train I must have to tell that to go all by it's like I have to tell that to actually do it I think so this is the electric one uh and this is the this should be the metro train yeah it's very damaged so we need it to be repaired but yeah tell it to go that way there we go wild the fact that train sets now are purely electric only is a little worrisome because I thought I had more time on that so now I have to basically keep an eye on the used market to see if I can get the fuel ones more and more of the fuel ones uh, but I can at least get you running now because you can do it yourself so we're gonna have one two let's say three of these and we're gonna tell you even though the engine itself is not for passengers it has these wagons right and so we're gonna tell this thing which is currently 94 meters in length good I'm gonna tell you to come over here and pick up these guys uh yeah you're gonna pick up these guys and then you can actually come around if you want to and pick up these guys too so you can fill yourself up by doing that that's so that's good so you'll come this way you'll fill up here you'll head this direction come around fill up here and then you'll head that way and go back and go to steel all right that should be your route so first stop is here you're gonna load workers at this point then you're gonna load workers here as well okay fill yourself up to 100 percent and then you're going to take all those extra workers to here and you're going to unload everybody right there and then start over again right so that should take a few hundred workers over into this area and pr pretty much remove our unemployment rate in our republic this building doesn't have a lot of plastic so I still need to 
get that happening. I'm gonna tell this I'm gonna tell this silly thing to to load plastic at the border, I guess. Uh, until we get our own supply up, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So plastics is able to be purchased at the border now. And a train is made instantly for that. There we go. And then uh, now that we're selling a lot less stuff and we're buying plastic, it's going to get a little expensive, I think. Uh, this road most likely needs to be torn down. I was trying to avoid it because there's a connection and the, the walking path connection is already here. So if I can avoid that, I, I will, but um, most likely needs it. The other thing I most likely need is a way to get this. Man, I'm going to have to remake this, aren't I? You know what I do? I need to remake this. Let's, uh... It's gonna shut down that factory, but I have enough in the other factories to make it work. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of these things, alright? This stuff is gonna go away. We're gonna get rid of all these, the bridges, all the things, okay? And, uh... We'll, de we'll demo that. And then, you know, obviously they can't get in there to demo it because there's no connection to the road. So once this is removed, once this is removed, I can then create that connection with the road and then they can get in here and do what they need to do. I can do that through here, right there, there, and then bring this around. And then this will just get hooked up to wherever it needs to be in order for these guys to demo this place, so. It, it doesn't matter where it, it doesn't charlie it doesn't matter just do it <laughs> it's it's just a dirt path okay no big deal all right they can tear all that stuff down now they can get in here and, and remove all that and uh and then we'll uh wait for them to do that before we continue designing plastics okay okay the demolition in this area is complete and so i'm gonna go ahead and remove the walking paths to get them out of kind of out of the way and to see how i can place <clears throat> this plastics factory if I can so uh, the spacing in here is probably pretty tight but I just want to see if there is any way I can so it looks like it'll let me do this but that doesn't give me a whole lot of room uh, it lets me do this too which might give me more if I can I get this right here that might work a slight rotation would be better though too because then I can, yeah, I want that, I need that factory connection to be right there. And then the, the gravel road, if I don't have to demolish, that'd be good too. <clears throat> uh, so if I did this, hypothetically, if I pop that in there. Now, we do need a walking path to get into here. And to be able to, to cross all of this, right, is, is what we were looking for. But if I can maybe restructure this walking path so that it comes down. And I, I, I just still need access to it from some direction. And I'm thinking... Maybe I can tear this out and reposition it somewhere, like maybe here. Um, if I went and uh, <clears throat> I got something in my throat, I can't, I can't talk right now. Uh, I'm gonna go and go, go and go. I'm gonna go and go. Jesus! All right, we are gonna do this, and I'm gonna be able to talk while doing it. All right, if I if I put this here instead, is what I'm thinking. The problem with this. It needs to happen anyway, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna place it. But the problem with this is that it doesn't reach this because this is supposed to be handling stuff from this factory, and so like there's just no space to get the walking path in and have the uh, factory connection because you go right there. So I need to have some means of getting this in, but then also having a walking path that has access to the road so that everything can be maintained. That's the whole point. We have to be able to maintain these things. Now I can now maintain this because all I need to do at this, at this point is to have this walking path connect here. So that would be no problem now, but that still doesn't solve the issue of this little area here. <clears throat> and so I'm thinking probably need to find another solution for getting people in here possibly just relying on personal cars maybe we do a couple of parking lots over here but then that it kind of defeats the purpose of having this right because i'm right now i have nobody working here just in case i want to tear this down too so the the era of redos is beginning okay um but i i think overall what i should do is probably pull this path back just a little bit if i do that i might be able to create enough separation here to get a walking path behind this and then i'm and then i'm good to go right so it's probably worth 
I think it's probably worth pulling this path back a little bit. And uh, let's make sure we do it only to the road. And remove that segment of road. If we can do that, I can probably dump this too. Pun intended. Like, if I get rid of this, and then this will only be relying on, on that little one right here, which is fine for now. There's barely anyone that works here, so it's okay. I think I'm going to dump this too. Because this should be providing trash to that. And if I get rid of this one, then I can move it out of the way. So yeah, we're going to do that too. We're going to get that out of the way. That's no big deal. Uh, we can pull the walking path back and just connect it like over here instead. Something like that instead. So we'll get... Uh, actually, I need this to... I need this to be here so that they can actually tear it down. So, uh, yeah. So, we'll, we'll tear this down. We'll tear this down. Demolitions here. And then uh, we'll try to place it again. The, again, the important thing is that I get a walking path that can go right behind this as tightly as possible is fine. As long as it's... As long as it can get there, right? So, it can go as tightly as possible. I guess that's... Yeah, that's pretty tight right there. Mm-hmm. And then straight behind this. And then we can just curve over again as tightly as possible to get out of the way. And then that's it, right? Now we have a means for repair vehicles to get in here. So as long as I can place this and, and this is still here, then we're good. And then I can have the bridge come over the, wa the factory connection and like all that stuff can still happen just as long as this path can get out. And that, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, it's been a few days and they have cleared it out so we're gonna get rid of that walking path and then we have got this road right here so again we're gonna place the chemicals factory and now i want to just make sure there's enough room for that walking path and it looks like we're gonna be able to get it right there ish maybe it doesn't look like it wants to automatically connect that gravel road but i, I think i might be able to persuade it to do so here uh i just gotta get a little bit more this way Remember, we don't have to make room in the back anymore because that path is already drawn. So if we could just get this to be reasonable. Probably right about here, I think. Right there. <clears throat> now, let's see if this connects. It does. Excellent. And let's see if this connects. It does. Excellent. Now, with that connection done, we want to see if the walking path will allow me to go back behind here. And it, I'm hoping that it does. And it does okay so a little bit wonky here but it does allow me to bring this to there where i need it so that's going to provide uh maintenance potential for this area which is good now we have this walking path coming behind here it's already drawn in so we don't have to worry about that anymore and the cars can park here and then go there if they need to and that's all connected very good uh the factory connection is good uh we'll go ahead and get that submitted like that and yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. Now, the last part of this is to see if we can't get this walking path brought back in here and uh, situated to where everybody can use it. So uh, we're going to try what some people recommended, and I think it's a good idea. We're going to see if we can't get this whole thing to be connected. And that was the problem before, and it looks like it's going to be a problem again. Oh, it's going to be a problem again. Maybe I can go this way. That actually would be cool if this would work, but... I don't think it's going to happen. It's just a different... The angle is just too extreme on that, I think. Um, but if I can get you to play nice... Uh, this is this is the problem before, is it, it just does not want to do it. Now, I have to make sure there's enough room for this uh, oil pipe connection, too. That in needs to have uh, enough room, too. So why don't we actually draw that first? We're going to take the oil from this... We're going to bring it off of this pipe right here. Okay, this tank. There's an output right here that I've already pre-drawn in. And so if you go underneath the ground, they've already started working that to, to try to get this pipe out to this way because I knew I was going to pipe this. So uh, they're starting that now. And it's just underneath that walking path. And so now I can probably get this to come up and connect there. If I can get that done, now with that connected assuming they actually can do it then the last thing to do is over here now the problem with this though is it's going to bring people i think too far right i think it's too far to walk to have that matter uh ooh, maybe i think this is probably still too far to walk but is it farther than having to go out and then around and then over again maybe not 
this might work. It's a little bit of a rounded way to do it, but it does at least let me connect it. If I was to do something like that and then connect here, how far is that distance from this bus stop? It, okay, so they can still get here because of the underground tunnel there. Uh, it looks to me like they are stopping right there at the stairs. So it's possible that assuming this is an actual, you know, longer footpath that's able to be walked a little bit fat farther. Now they can get there at 407. So we just need this to be paved and then they can get there. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll make this part gravel then gravel. Uh, we don't need all that to be gravel. Don't, don't do that. Just have this little segment. All right, game you silly game here try that then all right we'll get that to be gravel as well all right so that takes care of this now this hooks it up to plastic so all these forklifts and stuff can now bring plastic out of this area and pop it into here we can add more plastic storage into this and then the trains can now pick up that plastic from here and ship it all the way over into this area over here now the other idea is to add the plastic right here we bring in chemicals into here already, so those chemicals could then just get automatically drawn out of here and then used to make plastic and then sent this way. But, of course, the electrical components want the plastic, so they are working at it. The maximum number of workers I have in here right now is 50. I think that's pretty good. Uh, electronics over here is working now, too, with 60 as the maximum, which is nice. We had that single train, right, with... Uh, I don't even know if this is it. That's probably not. Look at the state of this thing. Can I have this? Yeah. Look at the state of this train. I mean, I love the way it looks, but I think we're going to need a little bit of maintenance on this. What do you think? <laughs> Pretty soon here. Is that 60 something percent? Yeah. 61 percent. Almost 20 years old. These trains are getting old. We're going to have to start replacing them and stuff too. Yeah. There's another, another old one here. It's only eight years old. This one is 50 percent. Uh huh. Uh, but I wanted to see the train pull into here. So this train has been told to go to the two different passenger stops, right? It goes to this passenger stop and it comes around, stops at this one and then comes around, right? And then does that. So it ends up with 216 workers on board, picking them up from two different stops, liking that. And then this is gonna drop them off at this station. Now, if it can't unload everyone, because I have limited how much labor can be happening here, right? Can happen here. Uh, if it can't load every, unload everyone, then it's going to come out and then it drops the rest off over here, right? So let's see how that track works or how that route works. Because this is, this is what I'd like to eventually have a lot of these trains do. I'd like them to you know, drop off people at one station. If you can't drop everyone off, then you stop at the other station and drop the rest off. But this station here is your primary stop. You should get about 110 or so people getting off this train. Some of them are going to, they're actually, they're all going to go that way for now. But once that walking path is done, you can see it's kind of pending. Wait, is it not pending? What's going on here? Oh, you're not, you're not built yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the walking path, where the, where the heck? Okay, so you're about that far into it. Uh, if we can get that walking path done, right, then they'll start coming over here too. But in the meantime, they have to get dropped off here and then they all get unloaded here. And then at that point, they walk over to work in the electronics yard. Right, so now we're missing stuff. Uh-oh. What just... Donoski Farms. Distribution office. What? We lost the distribution... Oh, it's my fuel. My fuel office. Oh, what the... Fire? Fire coverage, excuse me. There's two firefighters in here. <laughs> They're maxed out at four because I only have this little car in here. What happened to the other fires? What happened to the other fire trucks? You know what? It's possible the fire trucks were on the scene and there just wasn't on a fire department or a fire trucks in there. Uh, I'm going to have to buy more fire trucks. Let's get some bigger trucks in here. We'll go with... Uh, a nah, let's go with, I want something that can have more people, but also travel fast. I think this is a good compromise here. 26 people versus, you know, just going like a little bit faster. I think we're going to take one of those trucks. And then, uh, I want like a really fast responder here. Another four. Nah, nine is a good compromise. Actually, we'll do this. So, uh, we're gonna get more vehicles in here. <laughs> 
that needs to happen also the temperature in the building is too low it is october 21st it is getting getting cold and this is not done yet why is it not done yet i want all hands on deck get this done please turn a cover bring labor here all right let's get uh everybody everybody let's go what's what, what are we waiting for here concrete workers steel boards can i get helicopters on it no is the pipe done yet at least okay the pipe is done they did the pipe but they didn't do this and i need this done so that this can uh bring heat to these extra buildings and then also once this is done then i can start building my other neighborhood over here right so the next the next place we're gonna have people living is actually here i was gonna do it here but it's actually gonna be here first and then over here uh the trick the idea is i want to expand the traffic system in a controlled manner so that everyone is coming from different lo different directions right so we don't overload the roads uh then uh while this is be being built and getting set up and, and starts to run we can then pave this road to get this ready for more people on this side um and then i also need to start expanding power over here just a little bit more i'm out of connection points here so we are going to tap into this border connection it's fine the amount of power we're going to be buying from the border here is nothing compared to what we're exporting over there so totally balanced and fine uh, we actually, in case you're wondering, the amount of power that we're still selling at the border is quite good. All right. So we actually have times during the night here where we're selling between four and seven megawatts. Uh, and then on this side, we're selling between, I think, one and three. So we're still got, we still got about five or six total megawatts consistently being exported. And so I don't, I don't yet need this, but as soon as I do, I can just flip the switch on it. It's got almost everything delivered anyway. And, um, well, I guess it doesn't, right? It has it has to deliver the steel and stuff, but we have more than enough resources to uh, to make that happen, is what I'm saying here. So, uh, all right, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I think we're I think we've made some good good headway here. I think we've uh, talked about some very important topics, and we've gotten things done. We're gonna get this walking path redone, getting the plastics started in here. I think it's a better usage of this space, and if this becomes a burden for some reason like this just isn't happening and we're not getting enough workers here I can always swap this out for plastics as well that would be fairly straightforward to do uh the only difference would be that directly piping in the oil would not happen but you know it is what it is and then I'm gonna need more oil hooked up to this because otherwise this is gonna pull all the oil and we're not gonna get enough oil into the refinery to actually do the refining refining things now I've got a lot of fuel now but I'm gonna have to work on uh you know hooking up more oil to this system uh we are going to use all that oil over there for plastics but there's uh i think there's there's a few things i could do here to get more oil into here i just have to hook it up all right so thanks for watching i appreciate you i hope you guys will join me for the next one Bye bye